so I've had this channel for almost three years now and I never did a how to get into pharmacy school video. I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. So the reason why I never made this video, and I'll be transparent with y'all, I just never felt like I was qualified enough to do that, considering like my PCAT score, and you know, I applied late. I just didn't think I was allowed to uh, make this video, but we know that those are just lies in my head. And so I was just like, I'm finally going to let y'all know how to get into pharmacy school. <laughs> So you are excited, you figured out that you want to be a pharmacist, you want to go to pharmacy school, and now you're figuring out what are the next steps. Well, I hope that this video can help you with that. Wherever you are in your academics, um, the first thing that I will say is to look into some schools. You know you want to go to pharmacy school, great. Now, what school do you want to go to? And the reason why I say to do this first is because this can really help pinpoint what you need to do after. Um, so when you figure out what school you're interested in, no one's saying that it has to be V school, but get a handful of schools that you're interested in applying to. The next thing I want you to do is to figure out the requirements for this school, the classes that you need, the PCAT score that they need, like, everything like what does the school look for and what will make you a good candidate so once you make that list i will encourage you to make a list of the pcat score the gpa um the courses that they require and see like where you stand with that school so far um not saying that your stats have to be exactly the same your stats can be higher which is great or your stats could be lower which is fine it's just a matter of figuring out like where you stand and what you need to do to move forward. The earlier you do this, the higher your chances of getting into pharmacy school. So I would say to do this really early, okay? If you're in high school, most times you've completed a lot of those course requirements. Um, but if you haven't, I would look into, like if you're a junior, this is perfect because then you can take those courses your senior year, hopefully. If you are a senior, not the end of the world. You could probably take some of those courses at a community college, but like if you're going into a six year program, oftentimes you, you have everything already set. Now, if you are already done with undergrad, if you already went through high school, like if you are applying to the farm B portion of a program, because most programs are like six years, like my school is, but if you're transferring into the farm D program, and I hate that word transfer, because you're not really transfer, you're starting the farm D program. But if you're starting the farm D program and you've done school elsewhere, this is really important to um, see if you have to take any more courses, because if you do, then you're gonna wanna definitely get those courses done. And you don't wanna wait until you have to apply to the school, get into the school, then take those courses. So I would just encourage you to take those courses ahead of time, especially if you notice that it's a course in a lot of the schools that you're applying to. So if it's organic chemistry one and two and you haven't taken that yet, most times every school you apply to is gonna need that. If it's just one class for one school, um, you don't necessarily have to take that class unless you absolutely know you wanna go to that school. If you do, I would encourage you to take it even before you apply. So that's the next thing that I will say, is trying to figure out what school, the requirements, and then how you meet up, and then trying to rectify like taking those courses, um, all that stuff. Now, as far as like the PCAT and your GPA, GPA, if you're a senior and it's already like you feel like subpar, um, I still encourage you to apply because you never know what can happen. And with the PCAT, this is perfect to figure out what the school requires. And the reason why I say that is because you can really help to cater your study to that. Even though like you should just study to do well, but when you take practice exams, you can check to see like, is my score matching up with the average score of people that have been accepted to this program? And if not, then that's great. You can continue to study to get to that point. Now, even if you've taken the PCAT already, even if you feel like your PCAT score is not that great, it's all about balance. You know, 
schools are looking for a well-balanced student. So even if your PCAT's a little low, but your GPA is fine, still apply. You know, there's a whole bunch of other things that admissions counselors factor in, you know, extracurricular activities. Like, you know, what else are you doing? Don't fixate too much on your PCAT score and you just like are freaking out that your score isn't matching up with what everyone else had. Like, it's fine. Like, I will be the first to tell you, I did terrible on my PCAT, but my GPA was fine. I had a whole bunch of extracurricular activities. So it all just balanced itself out. You know, it's all about balance so don't stress too much out about that but if you are early if you um if you're not applying to farm school for another year or two this is great because now you can really um dedicate that time to study um as far as how to study um I didn't really have the time to study and I talk all about that in another video but I definitely recommend the Princeton Review um, PCAT study book that was really good and that was really helpful and I remember also buying like flashcards to like study um so yeah that was good just get you a book that has practice exams so now let's talk about the actual application so um I filled out my application on Farmcast and that was because I had already completed undergrad if you're in high school I'm pretty sure it's on the common app I'm pretty sure because when I work in the office they give out like the common app they always recommend like going to the common app so i'm pretty sure the school's on the common app if that's the case the common app is great you just put all your info in there and it just goes to like to all the schools which is great so you don't have to do like an individual application so hopefully like the farm school you want to apply to is there so you could just apply fill it out and you're done now the hardest part of the application is the essay oh my gosh Oh my gosh. When I tell you, I like struggled. I had to get help for <laughs> for my essay, like a lot of help. And like, thank, I'm just like so thankful because <laughs> I was really struggling. Um, and if you are struggling, there actually is help for you. There is a way to not struggle. So there is a site called the Happy Farm D, and I will put all the info in the description box below. So basically this resource helps you to write your personal essay and it is great. I look through this whole program and they do a really great job and I was just like, I wish I had this when I was applying to pharmacy school. So you can check out the link in my description box but honestly, at the end of the day, just be yourself, you know, try to, you know, steer. I, I know it's really hard to like talk about yourself and how am I going to fit everything in, you know, one essay, but you can do it and just don't really try to like, you know, do what everyone else is doing, but just be you. At the end of the day, that's all the school wants is for you to be yourself. So now you've applied, your application is in and now you wait. <laughs> While you wait, do not fixate on your email, do not fixate on your mailbox. And I know that's hard because I did that. Like I literally was just like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh. Oh, and I remember like my school was great. Like they called me personally to congratulate me on my acceptance. So like, I felt so special. So you're waiting, you're waiting and you're waiting. Um, and then hopefully you will get your envelope you will get that email or that phone call letting you know that you've been accepted into pharmacy school but if you don't it is okay um for some of you you apply to multiple schools like you still just have to wait and hear back and if you get rejected it is fine i have a video talking about all about getting rejected from pharmacy school because i'll be honest i applied to two schools and i only got into one but all it takes is one school remember that so don't be discouraged don't be upset um when you don't get into a school like it's going to be fine when it comes to like picking a school make sure you're picking a school that you like you're gonna be at this program for three to four years so you want to make sure that you're at a school that you are comfortable with that you like and you're not just there just because you i don't know like i don't know just because <laughs> But location is everything. Do you like cold weather? Do you like extremely hot weather? Like, do you want more of like a big campus or a small campus? Like, do you treasure diversity? Like, these are the things that you have to think about before 
starting your program. You don't want to just go to any school. You want to make sure it's a school that's the perfect fit for you because that's going to really play a big role in how well you do. So I would definitely encourage you um, when you are trying to figure out which school to go to, go on tours. Ask a lot of questions. Ask students questions because they will be honest with you. At least I am. When people ask me questions, like I'm straight up because I know what it's like to have to pick a school and I really want to make sure that students have all the information necessary to pick the right school for them. So don't neglect, you know, the location and don't neglect the school. Don't be so focused on a name. Don't be so focused on a name. At the end of the day, we're all gonna have farm D's. People are not gonna be like, oh yeah, she's the, the girl with the farm D from this place and this place. No, we're all gonna be Dr. So-and-so farm D. So um, don't be fixated on names um, because you don't necessarily have to do that. <laughs> Go to the school that you like and that's best for you. So before getting accepted, uh, you know, schools will reach out for interviews. I talk all about the interview process in a whole nother video. I'm sorry to be that person to be like, oh, go watch this video, go watch this video. But I just don't want to be redundant for the people that did watch the video. But I will just say in your interview, be yourself. Be yourself. Okay? Don't try to be the person that you think that they want you to be. Nope. Does not work. Be yourself. You know, know why you want to go to that school. Know what interests you because they don't want you just to say like, I want to go here just because it's a good school. Well, why? What brought you to this school? How did you even come across this school? What made you apply? Like, be specific because the school is really going to like that and they're going to see that you put in work and that you have a desire to go there. So, definitely be yourself <laughs> and know why you want to go to that school. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. If I'm missing something, just let me know. Just comment below and I'll like comment back or I'll make another video like I, either one. Um, so I hope this video was helpful and I hope it like provided you with some like tips and tricks to prepare for um, pharmacy school. This is kind of just like a very broad video. I do specific videos for each of the things that I talked about and I will link them up here in, in the description box so you can go to that specific one to get all the information that you need. Um, so I hope you enjoyed and I hope that it was helpful. Y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.